So me and uh, Carter are going to be fishing today, but we've got a snowstorm, so it's not really a storm, but it's, uh, it's definitely snowing. But that means no one is here, so we've got a place all to ourselves. We've got one car right here, and uh, hopefully that means we'll catch tons and tons of fish. Yeah, right? So... It's going to be a cold day for sure, but hopefully we catch. Well, I'm all bundled up. It's cold. And uh, we're heading out now. It took us a while to get all set up. Pretty excited. There's only two sets of people here. Not many. Uh, and us. So it's going to kind of be like having this whole river to ourselves in a way. It'd be nice. Carter looks like he's about to uh, rob a bank. <laughs> And uh, I look like I'm in a snowstorm, and I'm not. So uh, we're uh, we're ready, I think, to fish. We're here uh, on the island here at Texas Hole. So uh, we're gonna try here first. You can see there's a current that comes down this way, a little uh, area that comes down, and then it kind of slows down right here, right in front of us. Can't go out too far, but I always have pretty good luck in the mornings right here until this kind of fills up with people, but it might end up not filling up with people because of the weather, so we might have this all to ourselves. That's what we're hoping. That's what we're hoping. We got one other person on the river, and that's it. It's just us. We're gonna start nymphing first. I've got this uh, rod still that uh, my, one of my subscribers, uh, Vic Ryder, I think it was, had let me borrow. I'm gonna be sending it back very soon, but I'm gonna start off with a, uh, this is the first time I've fished this at this river, even though it's created at this river. Um, and that's the um, San Juan Worm. And then I've also got a Crystal Flash Emerger in size 26. Uh, so it's gonna be small. Um, that's what I'm gonna try. I think Carter's fishing kind of the same thing. He's got a red anilid and a Emerger also, so. I have to say, walking out into the water was cold. With the snow on the mountains, I felt like those monkeys in Japan sitting in the hot springs. Carter and I have uh, fished for maybe about a half hour, not much. He had one nick of the, or hit of the, of his bobber went down, but not a whole lot out here right now. I'm gonna try streamer. I usually like to have thermals on under my waders when it's cold outside. However, they were not washed this morning, so I was really cold. After fishing for a few hours with no luck, we decided to drive up to a spot about two miles downriver. So the sun is kind of peeking through, and uh, Carter and I tried a few spots. Not a whole lot of action. But with the sun coming out, it might be a good thing. God, you can see a little better into the water. Water doesn't look all that mucky now that the sun's out. I can see a little deeper. So I think we've got some good places coming up. We're, we're fishing some new spots up here that we've never seen. And uh, this is nice. It's really wide open. When we came up on this spot, it looked amazing. It was deep and fast moving water through two bends in the river very close together. Even though this spot looked great on paper, it didn't yield any fish. So we kept moving. This is beautiful. It's nice, wide open. We got a little fast moving water down there that might be good. It's kind of turbulent. But there's the dam up that way, so you can see we're not too far from Texas Hole. Looks like Texas Hole is right at the end of that. Right up there. So, so we are at the bottom of Texas Hole. That's Texas Hole up there, I believe. Uh, we walked all the way from down there. Carter is uh, trying up right at the, the riffle up there. So I'm gonna try a, a streamer at first, I think. He's trying to midge, it looks like. Now this spot looks great. It was just at the base of Texas Hole, and it had some fast moving and deep water. I decided to start fishing with a streamer. I tried a few techniques, including dead drifting and swinging.
swung the streamer past a large rock and started stripping up the back side of that rock when I got a hard strike. On the streamer? Yep. Heck yeah. Step fat. He's not that long, but he's fat, man. Yeah. That's what I caught him on. It's a, uh, a deer head, deer collar, cone head, uh, thing. Uh, it's got some uh, movement with these uh, uh, rubber legs and then the tail. So I put a lot of flash in there and then the tail is uh, um, a rabbit strip. It's olive, so I caught them on. I've been uh, doing a little testing with the deer hair. I'm not real great at, at uh, spinning deer hair, but I will make a video on that if you guys are interested. So let me know if you are. I'll try to make a video on how to how to do that. I'm not an expert on spinning deer hair, but obviously it works. So he wasn't real big. I thought he was. He hit hard, um, but he's fat. He was real fat and super colorful. So I'm glad I got one finally. Um, I thought we were gonna get skunked here. So after catching that fish and Carter graciously grabbing the camera to help film, we both decided to try and focus on that spot. However, after just a few minutes, Carter noticed something. It's about to dump snow on us. What? Oh, crap. Probably start heading in, huh? Yeah. Well, that wasn't the most productive day, but we got one. At least we didn't get skunked. But we've got a bit of snow coming in right there, so we gotta try to make our way down this way. And uh, not get hit by that snow, so we gotta hurry. The storm was moving fast, and we really wanted to get out of the water before it hit us. Once we reached the shore, the storm started sleeting on us, and we still had a good half hour walk back to the car. In our rush to get back and out of the sleet, we took a few wrong paths that forced us to walk through thick brush and dead ends. Finally, we hit the right path, but by this time we had heavy snow dumping on us. Even though this weather was miserable and we only caught one fish, it was such an enjoyable day.